Yeah. Welcome to Mario Kart. Just what I needed. Okie dokie. Oh wait, we gotta start it from the beginning because I want to be an a, a, a official boss. <laughs> uh, a official floppy. Cut. Shut up. No. And then I shut up. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yes! Alright. I'm, I'm not doing this with you anymore because you snapped at me. <laughs> Alright, just leave the call. Right, Dude, we go 100cc because, let's face it, we go hard. And we go toad because of that Brocken hairdo. And, uh... Like his hat because he's a Sikh. And forbid his little uh, what do you call the people who have, uh, that one disease? <laughs> Lep lepers and... Leprosy. Uh, you call them lepers? Yeah, lepers, yeah. This is what they actually look like. Maybe that would've been funny if you could fucking remember it. Well, you don't expect humor from me. Anyways. Uh, yaha! Dude, what doc toad? <laughs> So, I'm wondering which of these are gonna... I didn't, I didn't prepare, I'm so terrible, but, uh... Okay, this one's actually a pretty good circuit. Snowland? I never played this one, so I'm gonna Although, it might be hard, but, um... Anyways, let's go with this. What character do you usually use? <laughs> well, I've never played this one, but in Mario Kart 64... Same characters. I, I, I like to play, uh... You know, I don't really remember. I, I, I just kind of play whoever, it really doesn't matter. I didn't get that, like, boost at the start. Well, I'm, you'll be okay. That's one of the memories I... Well? <laughs> yeah, dude, I was about to say, another fond memory. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you, Mario. I think I played as Bowser a lot in Luigi. I always liked the characters that were super fast. Because generally, like, it, it seems like the, it, if you can, ma can maintain control over your vehicle, they seem, like, just objectively better. You know, this isn't a fighting yeah. game. It's not like being able to push your opponents out of the way is, like, uh, worthy. Mario Kart sumo wrestling. Yeah. <laughs> Dude, I'm still waiting on Mario Tekken. <laughs> yeah, Mario X Tekken. <laughs> Yeah, actually, no. Remembering back, I played this Luigi a lot. Because uh, I was a little gay for Luigi back in the day. Oh, shit. I slipped out. Uh, oh, look, luckily he did too. Um, I have a lot of memories of playing uh, Mario 64, Mario Kart 64, uh, with my sister at the daycare center. And, like, uh, I remember the my favorite lap was Rainbow Road. And that shit would give me so many headaches, but I absolutely loved it. Uh, like, I got so many headaches as a kid that, it, you know, my sister would tell me she didn't want to play because she didn't want to hear me complaining about a headache afterwards. And also, just, you know how I get with video games. I play the hell out of them. Um, like you we got a physical headache, you weren't just irritated with it? But... Yeah, the, like all the flashing lights and the sounds. I don't know, I, I, I have a weak mind, I guess. Oh, yeah, that I could, never happened to me. I could never be a Jedi. Um... But, uh, yeah, the secret to winning this game is coming in second all the time. Um, but, but, uh, you know, I still, like, love the hell out of the game. And I, I just loved, uh, maps where there was a, a secret route that saved about, honestly, one or two to five seconds. But yeah, I just thought that yeah. was the coolest shit ever. Mario Kart 64 was actually the first Mario game, uh, I ever owned. I actually remember the day that I got it, uh, which it's weird, it's not like one of my favorite games or anything, but I was at my grandparents' house and I was like five years old, maybe six, because it was like the second or third game I ever got for my Nintendo 64, and I saw Mario on the cover, and I didn't know who Mario was, but I had seen him like constantly, I, I knew he was this big video game guy, Yeah. so I remember being like really fucking excited. Like, to the point where I was, like, you know, acting like a giddy little child. Oh, God, that sucked. Um, yeah, uh, oh, I, I hate when you skid out at first. But anyways, um, 
Yeah, that's fucking annoying. I, yeah, I played uh, Super Mario uh, 64 first. Uh, but uh, I have a lot of memories playing uh, this one as well. Uh, I also, I like the music a lot on this stage. Um, actually, I've been getting really into the music in some video games. Like, it seems like almost all video games have, have tracks that are good. Unless the game in general is just utter shit. Uh, but anyways, uh, as, as a kid, my favorite, my favorite, uh, weapon was the three green shells, because I, I, uh, I, like, obviously the red ones are better, but I thought it was, like, so cool to be able to, uh, hit someone with a green shell, like, at, and aim it perfectly, and it'd be, like, a skill shot. Yeah. Especially when it was from far away, and, you know, it might as well have been up to chance, but still, I liked it. I like the lightning. Oh, I, I yeah, that's not in this game, but I totally know. Yeah, I like the lightning a lot, and of course the blue shell is really cool. I, I like to uh, play with other people because this was actually when I played this game as a kid. I, I actually knew like all my neighbors in this cul-de-sac that we lived in, and I was the only one with a video game console. And they would come over to my house, and there'd be like five of us in my room playing Mario Kart. And Super Smash Brothers, but particularly uh, Mario Kart, because they were a lot of them were girls. And we would, uh, I would, uh, whenever I got the lightning, I was just like, all right, time to just I basically troll everyone before. That was a phrase. Yeah. But it was so funny, they get pissed off, and they're like, how are you doing that? Like, we were all little kids, they had no idea how I was able to electrocute all of them and make them, you know, play like shit. Yeah. I had a lot of fun doing that. Um... This is something I was just remembering about this game, uh, but there was a point where I was playing this game so much that, like, uh, I would go and I would, like, oh, shit. I would put myself in, like, last place just to explore the map, and I would try and find, like, all the, like, exploits possible in a map. I'm gonna do terrible this round. Uh, but I, I was just on this map, like trying to see if there were secret passages and um, secret ways of like jumping boards and stuff like that I think it might have been actually in a different track that looks exactly like this but uh yeah that's an interesting memory I have as I just go right into the sea what's your favorite level on this one uh, still the rainbow road although I do like that sky garden one we were just at a lot I like Rainbow Road on uh, Mario Kart 64. It wasn't my favorite though. Like, I don't know what my favorite is, but I really liked the Boo level and get with the bats and everything. Oh, I guess lightning is in this game. I, yeah, just... I thought I saw it, but I, I mean, just figured you knew a little more than I did because I've never played it. But do you remember that Boo level in, in uh, Mario Kart 64? Not right now, but uh, I, I know I played it. I played all of them. That was a good one. It's got like these like wooden panels that you have to drive around. You have to really be careful. You can just drive right off them, and then you go into the. Like, oh the yeah, the yeah. There's there's levels like that in this game too. Yeah, and there's invisible bridges, and I thought that was really cool shit. Yeah, that is pretty cool. I don't remember the last time I played Mario Kart. I think the last time I played it might have been like 2008 when I was just. Oh god. I went on this really nostalgic thing and beat all my old Nintendo 64 games in 2008. Replayed oh. all of them. Fifth place. Good to go. Yeah. Oh, it plays that shitty music like, you suck. I thought I was going to turn it around and at least get second, and then I just fucking went right into the water like an idiot. Unless it's first, you suck. No, but, uh... I totally liked, like, these games, I think, are pretty shitty compared to the, uh, Nintendo games. Um, for the Nintendo 64 Mario Kart. And even, I guess, the ones like Double Dash. Well, I mean, obviously, those are superior at this point. Uh, but, um, like, this is all flat, like the original Super Mario Kart. Uh, but, like, the Rainbow Road for, uh... Wait, am I doing the same level over again? Yeah. Oh, well then, fuck this, I'm gonna edit this out. <laughs> I'll continue my story after that. I, f I failed. Oh yeah, first place, I am a official boss. 
Oh, look at that map, dog. Look at my... Oh, I actually didn't have incremental improvements. Um... So are you gonna do that, uh, that one level Sakuna River? <laughs> yes, just in a, in a moment. I don't want to get to the best thing, uh, right away. Um... <laughs> awesome. That was so fucking awesome. I like how, uh, they play the, uh... The music really fast. This music's really, like, interesting. They have a lot of music in this game, actually. It's probably stolen from their other ones. But this is, like, super western adventure. I like this level quite a bit, actually. Yeah, I like the way it looks in the background as well. Yeah, this, this, yeah, the background's what I really like. This makes me, like, it really makes me harken back when I play the Super Nintendo as a kid and I just get really lost in the world. Yeah, yeah. Dude, this is cool. I, I always liked the, uh, environmental things in, in the, the, uh, Super Mario Kart levels. Because it was cool to see, like, the themes that they put into it, like, weird quicksand or, like, uh... There would be, like, penguins on the side, and you could actually hit them, and it'd be like, what are they doing? And then this one has, like, uh, those, uh, tents with the tiki guys. Oh, uh, yeah, shaman? Yeah. Or shaman, for all your British viewers. Don't, we're here to shame our British viewers, so... <laughs> Oh god. So racist. I like when you can hit them twice like that. It's just completely unfair. But you like yeah. smack them and then while you're spinning you just run into their flailing body. And then like if you press uh, both the trigger buttons at once till it yells John off. Yeah. Then... And then he just chucks a barger straight at their head and they yell, they yell, I'm Star Fox. And then Toad yells back, stop you! <laughs> but anyways, to go back to the Rainbow Road talk, uh, which is clearly what this is all about. Um, dude, I thought that part in Rainbow Road where you go, uh, you go down the, like, uh, the hill, and it's like this, this long looping hill, or not looping, but like, like a parabola. And you, do, you just fall down it, and it's playing that, like, doo doo doo, like that magical music. Uh, when you're just fucking driving a go-kart. Um, I thought that was really cool. And, uh, you can't, you can't get that feeling at all in this game. Uh, where it's all, it's all, like, it's 3D, but the, the map is, is flat. Actually, I still think this game looks pretty good. Like, it, it, this I, is I, a pretty good game, yeah. I played a I lot of this. I really liked it. I, I would play it, like, if, if I was, like, at your house and I want to play some old-school Super Nintendo Mario Kart, I'd be like, okay. Yeah. We'd probably be able to kill, like, two hours playing this. And what place did I get, I wonder? And then it just fucking kills them all, and there's a bunch of blood everywhere. <laughs> and then, like, the people around just start screaming. Actually, in this one level in Mario Kart 64, uh, I remember this chick that I knew asked, if you hit the cows, do they burst into blood and guts? And I was like, no. This is a Nintendo game? God? Let's and try not to, uh, bring up bad memories like that. 